Hi, my name is John, and I've worked in the entertainment industry for over 30 years. In that time, I've been a producer, a line producer, a military technical advisor, and a writer. I have mentored numerous screenwriters for crews in film, television, and other media. I have taught screenwriting and movie production in numerous conventions, seminars, and colleges. As a writer, you have a plethora of career coaching opportunities. Some good, some bad. Some whose guidance you have valued and some whose guidance did not suit you. You have to make those decisions that are best for your career as a writer. What I can guarantee I can give you is the benefit of a 30 plus year career and the flexibility of a lifetime of understanding. My clients have included everyone from working writers who have sold specs and pitches to studios and production companies to writers in their emerging stages, building their body of work and figuring out their brand. The common thread for all my clients is that whether they are just starting out or managing a thriving career, they are all enthusiastically approaching their screenwriting business. We will discuss the basics and benefits of being a coaching client in subsequent videos. For now, enjoy this sh short essay into screenwriting and idea development. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to unpack your ideas. Screenwriting is magic and you create the magic. You are the magician. You start with nature, reality. You add in the magic, your ideas, and you create fiction or unreality. As magic is the art and craft of creating illusions of seemingly impossible or supernatural feats by using purely natural means. Screenwriting is the art and craft of creating visual illusions by the use of purely natural means. How many times have you said to yourself, I have a great idea for a movie? It's not as easy as you might think. All movies start with an idea, but there's much more to it than that. Ideas are just the tip of the iceberg. You find ideas everywhere you look. The stronger the idea, which means the stronger the unity of the story, means a stronger story. What we're going to do is dig deep in order to create a story the audience can lose them why are ideas like a helicopter? Always remember, a screenplay is not one idea, but 10,000 ideas all working together. Think of a helicopter, all million parts flying in unison. What if one part falls off? Well, maybe nothing. But what happens if a hundred parts fall off? Likewise, a screenplay can fly apart if your ideas are not clear or work together. Why are ideas like a helicopter? Always remember, a screenplay is not one idea, but 10,000 ideas all working together. Think of a helicopter, all million parts flying in unison. What if one part falls off? Well, maybe nothing. But what happens if a hundred parts fall off? Likewise, a screenplay can fly apart if your ideas are not clear or work together. Some techniques for idea development. Mind mapping, asking the questions, concept testing, working backwards, secondary character. So we'll take a look at two of these ideas, ask some techniques for idea development. Mind mapping, asking the questions, concept testing, working backwards, secondary character. So we'll take a look at two of these ideas, asking yourself a lot of questions and mind mapping. Well, first, 
of all, we're going to ask ourselves the questions. And you're going to ask yourselves a lot of questions, such as, what is the story about? What genre of the story is it? What is it about this story that will attract an audience? Who are the characters? What does the main character want to achieve? What does the main character do to achieve his goal and the choices that they make? What are their obstacles? Well, first of all, we're going to ask ourselves the questions. And you're going to ask yourselves a lot of questions, such as, what is the story about? What genre of the story is it? What is it about this story that will attract an audience? Who are the characters? What does the main character want to achieve? What does the main character do to achieve his goal and the choices that they make? What are their obstacles? What or who is standing in their way and why? Will they achieve what they want? Will the ending be triumphant or not? What will the characters learn by the end of the story? What kind of character development do you want? All of these are asking important questions. And these are, this is just an example. You have to continually ask yourself, what is the story about? And once you've determined that, stay on that track. So the second idea development concept that we will explore is mind mapping. A mind map is a diagram used to visually organize. A mind map is empirical and shows relationships among pieces of the whole. Major ideas are connected directly to the central concept and other ideas branch out from those major ideas. And they are created around a single concept. So the second idea development concept that we will explore is mind mapping. A mind map is a diagram used to visually organize. A mind map is empirical and shows relationships among pieces of the whole. Major ideas are connected directly to the central concept and other ideas branch out from those major ideas. And they are created around a single concept to which an associated representations of ideas such as image, words, and parts of words are added. Now, as you can see, there's different examples of mind maps here. And you have uh, the story idea on the right, uh, the picture, it's revenge. That's a central core idea. And you have the various characters. You have their characteristics. You have plot and you have motivation. 